Tim, they just seem to get that momentum through the middle on each uh, Yeah, yeah, they uh, obviously worked us over. Possession went against us once that happened, and a lot of it their own fault. Uh, once that happened, uh, we struggled and we were down to 15, so that didn't make life any easier. So, um, and we've got some work to do this week. Tim, you've had some great moments with this team. Would it be fair to say this is probably one of the toughest nights you've had as a coach? Uh, I'd have to say it's pretty disappointing, yeah. I think the guys were all disappointed. Yeah. So uh, it's a it's a group. We work together as a group. So we've just got to get over it. Some hard work this week and get out. We've got to win a game now. We've got to win two games now. Daly and Greg, what's the update on the back of those uh, Daly will have a scan on a, a glute injury, a tear. Um, Greg was suffering from a, from a virus. He, uh, today we thought he'd be okay and it backfired. So it didn't work out. Sorry, Tim, you didn't get him in knocking all the way through. You might have got a head knock. Who? G.I.? No. no. Just a line. Uh, yeah, yeah, we had Sammy had it during the week, so he got over it. But um, G.I. Pull, pulled out, pulled up a little sick today, but he said he'd be right. Everyone, everyone seemed to be thinking he was going to be all right, but half a game and he was um, he was dizzy from, from it as well, dehydrated as well. So, so it, it backfired on us. Too early to tell these might shake your arms around. Well, I'll, I'll wait to see what happens with Dallas first before we make a decision. Karen, you said uh, yesterday you thought the Kiwis would come up the middle and forwards one of the games. Is that how that was going to turn out? Yeah. <clears throat> well, we turned a lot of possession over to them. Um, you just can't do that against the Kiwis. You know, they're, they're a big side, they're a powerful side. They did a really good job of getting momentum um, through, the, through the middle of our, our team tonight. Um, you know, we just, uh, I, don't know, I don't know what it was, but it was just we're lacking a bit of intensity getting, to get into the tackle tonight. I think they did a very good job, uh, particularly the way the referee officiated the match. You know, he allowed a, a slow play the ball, and the Kiwis did a great job to take advantage of that. You know, they had numbers in the tackle all the time. Um, I don't think we had too many good play balls tonight, but for some reason we didn't, we didn't reciprocate that, you know, we had two in the tackle sometimes, you know, we'll get in legs tackles with their cross field runners and they'll just build momentum from there. So um, it's probably something that England will look at, but we need to be better back next week. Cameron, what's the real um, learning experience for all your the young blokes out there? Oh, well, of course it would be yeah, it's their first match, you know. They're, every game you play you learn. It doesn't matter whether you're thirty or, or you're twenty. Um, you know, I've played a fair few test matches and I've, I've learned a few things tonight, you know. It's, um, uh, you know, hopefully they're better for the run now. You know, they, they understand what test ball, football's about. Um, you, just, you just can't give an inch at, at this level, you know. And we didn't give an inch, we gave a mile tonight. But to the credit of the Kiwis, you know, they were very good. You know, they took advantage of all the errors we made. They played up-tempo. Their skill was, was pretty good for their first hit out. Um, so we need to be a lot better next week. Tim, some of the areas, though, because you were going to off a lot disjointed that second half? Well, we were chasing our tail in the second half, so yeah, that, I think some of the errors, errors were forced. Um, but, um, you know, there seemed to be a lot of error around the play the ball area, the ruck, you know, some ball coming out. Uh, they, they, they were in, in the tackle in numbers, as Cameron said. The ball, um, we got some. I thought we got a couple of tough calls, but at the end of the day, that's not that's not going to change the nature of the game. We were comprehensively beaten, beaten on the ground in offence and defence. We started well, that's where it finished. Did the Kiwis provide what you expected? Tell me about the way you expected them to go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We knew we were in for a tough game, uh, you know, and, um, and but had we, you know, we needed to complete our. Uh, better than we did anyway. If we're going to put any pressure on anyone, you, you can't turn that sort of ball over. Uh, first game for a few of the guys for a few weeks, you know, and uh, you need to go set for set in test match footy, and we didn't. Tim, did you see any of the England game? Or what you expect in next week? No, I haven't seen any of it. I need to see it. I'll, I'll, I'll watch the replay before I, uh, my coaching staff have, so we're focusing more on our game at the moment. What do you make of the squad that we brought over? It looks a strong squad. They've got some young players too. Um, 
some unknowns to us, although we've got a bit of footage on most of them. But it'll be, um, you know, they struggled a bit early, but they managed to come through with a win. So, you know, we're, we're, the, we're the team that have got under the pump now. We're going to have to win this week. Uh, no, not really. I think you know, everything that they threw at us, we expected them to do. Um, first time I've had a look at Jason Tamalolo at test level. I thought he was very good. Yeah, he's, uh, he finished the season really strongly for the Cowboys and he carried that form into this match tonight. Um, he, was, uh, he was pretty damaging for them and got a roll on for him in, in most of the carries that he had. But uh, yeah, again, you know, we... We didn't help the call, our cause. Uh, defence, as I said earlier, it needs to be a lot better than it was tonight. Cameron, how much do you put down to his joint in nature to the new faces and also the producing value to your eyes? Well, if you, if, you know, our preparation was really good this week. You know, it's, um, the team come together really quickly. Um, I think I mentioned yesterday I was really surprised at how well the young guys have, have slotted into the, the squad. Um, you know, they're they're on board with all of our systems. Um, they trained extremely well. We, you know, we trained really hard in the first couple of days, and, and they performed well. Most of them, you know, every one of the new blokes, they trained really well. Um, you know, and everyone knew what we wanted to do tonight, but you know, it was one of those games where, for some reason, which we need to figure out quickly, it just didn't transfer to the game. Um, and then I guess losing daily and, and losing um, GI, you know, they're, they're big losses, but we had 15 Australian players out there tonight, you know, still healthy and, and ready to go, and you know, that, that should be good enough. You know, it's um, all the blokes out there. They played, or well, most of them have played representative level, and if they haven't, they played in big matches. So, as a team, we need to improve all, all across the park. Tim, do you think you'll will you consider putting some more size in the pack next week, the likes of Clement? Oh, look, I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not prepared to sit here and say what we will and won't do in that regard. Uh, we'll review it, uh, have a look at the health of everyone, and then we'll make a decision you know, early in the week, I think. How, how does a loss change your plans to, to give everyone a, a game? Uh, well, again, I'm not prepared to comment that you know, whether or not everyone will play and how we'll do it. The main thing at the moment is uh, this week. Uh, but we've got, to, we've got to win a game this week, so we have to pick our best, healthier side and go out there and win a game this week. I worry about who gets a game after that, mate. Cameron, what sort of occasion will it be on Sunday, given what's on the line down to Melbourne? What sort of occasion will it be? What sort of pressure? Will, what's, how much support do you think you'll get? No, I think we'll have a fair bit. Um, it's, you know, it's nice that we've got a Four Nations match down in Melbourne. You know, the game's grown immensely over the last you know, five, six years. There's a lot of support for the, the sport down there now. Um, so they'll be looking forward to an international. Um, as far as we're concerned, you know, as, as Tim said, we need to win. That's pretty much all we need to say. You know, we, need, we need to be better and we need to win. Um, uh, there's a lot of expectation on this team to do well, um, not only from the public, um, but within ourselves as well. Um, our standards, we didn't reach our standards tonight. You know, we let ourselves down there. So we need to get back to those standards next week. It's an unusual situation for the Kangaroos to be in the tournament play. How do you think the, uh, the senior players react to this? Well, we just need to do our job. It's, it's, I guess the easiest way to, to answer that question. You know, the, the good leader does his job every week. And, um, you know, whether doesn't matter where you're playing, who you're playing. His best game and his worst game is um, you know, not too far apart in performance-wise. So we need to be good at training. We need to be good you know, around our know, uh, accommodation. You know, we need to keep the boys up. You know, a lot of the guys, the young guys, you know, they might they might take this loss quite heavily. You know, but we're in a situation in, in 2009 where we drew the first one against the Kiwis, um, and we needed to win from. So, similar situation now. We need to win the next two. Okay. We're, certainly, we're certainly capable of doing it. You know, it's not um, it's not panic stations in our in our sport. But we're still very disappointed with the way we played tonight. Cameron, okay, you take this loss. I think it's your first loss as captain. So it must be a strange um, Yeah, well, I, I didn't I didn't know that that stat. If you want to call it a stat, but um, 
I think any time you, you have a loss, especially in the Greeny Gold Jumper, it's, um, it's disappointing. More so given the way we played tonight. If we played well and, and uh, if we played at our very best and were beaten, you could probably take that. But um, we were far from that and the Kiwis were a lot better. You know, we're, not, we're not taking anything away from the Kiwis. They were a lot better than us. Thank <laughs> you.